Oh god, I can't believe I have to do a double uh, bad movie review today. Uh, Yo, what is it? Ah, I think so. Uh, Real North Alfred, by the way. Uh, go to, I guess when Dan quit, we kind of got him back in a handful of other bad family characters. So, I guess the old saying goes, Hell Mary full of... Uh, Holy Water and Blessed Are Thou Awesome Nerf products and Nerf related people and Nerf related family of this channel. Help me in the hour of my need. Amen. Oh, Alright, so, uh, summoning, summoning, summoning. Halt! You are under arrest. <clears throat> and who made that be? Whoa! Looking for me? Wow, an old quote from you. Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, D engine. <laughs> Uh, what can I do for you, Officer Murphy? We have unfinished business. Okay, look, it's been six years, and I understand you and a lot of people didn't really get my, uh, remake review of, uh, well, your remake back in 2014. Yeah, also card two. And I must violate you for two cards in a row for your engagement and algorithm purposes. Okay, so what if the analytics are not that bad? Your prior crimes are not the concern right now. It is the concern of one related item of what you have in your possession that I kept as evidence the night before. Okay, what is that? Okay, so MK11, so it's not like you're getting... You were saying? Wait, <laughs> that, then that explains that cryptid, I guess, story trailer they got? Uh, we'll get to that card in a minute, but with that said, um, it's not, it is. Holy shit, they flipped your footage. Wait, what? Yeah, in the footage I saw, yeah. Um, I thought that was a fever dream, by the way. I thought Twitter was just being a little crazier than usual last night. Twitter never lies. I should know. Okay, 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 okay. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, this is Rich Gear, Rich Gear Reviews, and, um, sorry as it sounds, as much as you were probably chomping at the bit for more retro reviews, yeah, my... View analytics probably wouldn't mind telling me how much I suck at that. Getting back on point, um, Robocop is, I guess, the final guest character in, I guess, a new combat pack to, oh, I don't know, their first ever expansion for MK11 called, uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, uh, Aftermath. Uh, getting to the point, I will help you. Shang Tsung is helping the fire events or immediately after the main story of. Mortal Kombat 11. Dude, just call it MK. My prior programming will not let me say it in the shortened version. Blame OCP for that one. Okay, you're not wrong there. Okay, so yeah, story's gonna take place like immediately after it where Liu Kang, spoilers, becomes, I guess, a new Elder God. Trust me, in a long list of Elder Gods in the MK series, you're gonna have to Wikipedia exactly what type he is, and yeah, he fused with Raiden to get those abilities. Also, for those who played the previous combat pack in um, MK11, yeah, you still get Sing Shong from uh, the MK movie. I told the name escapes me of his real name, IMDb, IMDb down below, because he did a lot of crazier stuff than this. Be watching anyone? Anyway, um, yeah, uh, not only that, um, you get a bunch of new characters. Oh, sorry. Uh, a new character that people have been asking for for about long time. Um, one of them is a fan favorite since the old Armageddon days, aka the Dark Ages of uh, Mortal Kombat. Fujin, and I believe, I hope I got the name right, Sheva. Uh, not related to, I assume, uh, RE5's Sheva. I, I think she's um, supposed to replace, I guess, Goro given the uh, her body type and the race and everything. Her compost is probably going to be the same thing too. As for Robocop himself, I really have no clue what his moveset's gonna be. Uh, I'm almost assuming there's gonna be a bunch of weapon loadout uh, uh, Easter eggs like from 2 and 3. My programming reminds you that I don't like 3. Nor did a lot of the fan base at the time. How's the shows? Tell Austin Trench that. Oh yeah, I think he reviewed some of them. Uh, Carter's channel if he did anything uh, Robocop related lately. Or I guess... Bane lately! Another DC reference will make you make you do another DC review. Yeah, and a lot of DC movies have been delayed recently. I can't say my usual swear words. Oh, I'll say it for you. Uh, Jet? Yes, I was going for the S word. Fucking YouTube copyrights. Anyway, um, yeah, I would think, you know, after finally getting the fan favorite character everybody wanted spawned to the point that I'm still trying to get, oh, I don't know, 
a certain, hang on, where is it? A uh, figure of his for a fight, which may or may not be stop motion. I haven't really figured it out. Quarantine is making me that crazy with ideas. But to the point that not only this expansion is doing really cool stuff, that's not a concept art. That's the new stage fatalities. Yeah, they're bringing not only that back, but friendships. For those who have been around in the MK fandom, friendships hasn't been around since, apparently, I've looked this up, MK3. Basically, the old school 16-bit uh, uh, trilogy of the, of the series. And yes, if you also go on Twitter and I guess go to, I guess, uh, NetherRealm's official uh, social media, they probably had a handful of friendships that they showed off. Uh, my favorite, of course, is, well, I guess Kano here just having a shrimp out of the bob, eh? Bad Aussie accent aside, uh, there was a noob one, and uh, the one they used in the trailer was uh, a scorpion one. I love the bear. I, I, it was one of my child's favorites. Regrets. Disgust. And an unwilling urge for vengeance. Are you psychoanalyzing literally everyone here? I haven't been here in six years. It's been a while. Dude, didn't I use you for like a camera figure? It was around the same time. Oh, okay. You're absolutely right, officer. My, 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 my apologies. So, yeah, that's kind of where we are now. Um, I highly recommend the card to the trailer itself and, and any of the gameplay you guys might be seeing throughout this quick retro news. Dear God, I can't believe I'm happy to say that for once in this damn quarantine. You mentioned COVID-19 again. I must require you to put the absolute necessary link underneath your video. And how do I do that? Uh, I don't know. Tag it. Look, some of us, sometimes my programming does act like a normal human sometimes. Deal with it. Okay, cool. You're absolutely right. My, my apologies, officer. So am I getting pulled over for not finally doing a Ro Robocop month? Due to your prior parameters of previous reviews related to any franchise that would qualify as a mo movie month? No. But it still would be nice if you did it. Ditto. I'll, I'll see what I can do. So, yeah, that's kind of where we stand with all this. And honestly, I can't wait for more content because it is kind of awesome that we got pretty much all the fan favorites. And now that he's here, um, it does sound like they're wasting a spot. And everybody on Twitter is kind of bitching that they wasted a spot. But you still got Fujin and one of your favorite, like, Dark Ages, you know, characters. So, I'm just saying... You gotta know when to compromise. Also, yeah, that's the Spike uh, USB. Uh, I guess anyone who's done uh, <laughs> reviews of it over the years, um, I guess, uh, what's his name? Uh, damn it, the name excuse me. But he has it at home of the movies with his commentary boys, and uh, he had a really cool time. I'm gonna feel like an idiot just not remember. Uh, Djibouti Dubs, there we go. Yeah, that was a favorite. That was the, the best in the commentary game. I might do a commentary with Twin someday with the, the all three movies as a compromise. You really do know when to think on the fly. As I should be, officer. So, uh, we, we cool to go. Uh, is there any other details I might have missed? No. Just one thing. My original actor is revoicing me and getting my likeness. Oh, like they did with the, the ter Terminator, which means... Yes, we can finally do those Dark Horse fights everyone's been asking for years. Comic plug aside, and uh, onto the end cards, go to... Uh, OCPs and Choice Finest right here to see the previous video, which was me doing a retro review, well, t retro Toku review of uh, Pounders of Lost Galaxy for May the 4th be with you because, let's be honest, I didn't want to do more Star Wars content. And given the news that came after the fact of the Rise of Skywalker, it was pretty dumb. Go to my awesome, uh, not at all, have to re-scrap this whole figure form here, to not only sub to the channel, but to see my other previous video, which was, I believe, Speed, uh, my retro review of Speed. And, yeah, um, there might be more retro reviews coming. Oh, by the way, Rehension. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have a term for powering back into this yet. Um, anyway, uh, I highly recommend you guys play the game in general. Um, I think they're gonna have a collection pack, um, for just not only the vanilla game, but Compact 1, and this coming out, I think, late June, if you guys won't wait that long. If you can't wait, I think the full edition is gonna be free for anyone who bought Compact Pack, uh, story-wise, and I think some of the characters... Uh, if you're just getting both Combat Pack and this, and you have the main game, um, I think that's like 30 or 40 bucks, depending on where you live in, the, in your country. Um, other than that, that's actually a pretty damn good idea. I'm happy that there's more content in general, and normally this would be right around the same time, uh, this game would get a collection, a combat collection, so it makes sense that they do it now with new characters. So, um, Ted, Boone, and everybody in Mortal Kombat, um... Hi, hello, and uh, I hope you guys actually watched my review of uh, Scorpius Revenge because I think I did a pretty damn good job.
It was below average vlog. Oh my god, you will just complain about anything. I'm built by a YouTube algorithm!